Okay, so first of all, can you tell us um, your name and where you come from? I'm Genevieve Bentricht, and uh, originally from Holland, but spent most of my life in England. And which Kent at Paris programme are you studying? Comparative Literature and French. How did you first hear about that? I did my degree at the University of Kent and decided to stay on. Excellent. Okay. Um, so which modules have you decided to follow while you're in Paris? I'm doing the Reality and Representation with Professor Reed and the Film module. As well. Are you enjoying them? Yes, really enjoying them. They're meeting your academic expectations. Yes, better than I expected, in fact. Okay, in what really way? Really interesting. Um, the film module in particular is a lot different from what I expected. Uh, I thought it was going to span a, a, a wider range of time, but it's actually better than I thought because we've managed to look in more detail at uh, different periods of cinema and how it's developed and uh, the progression in more closer detail. Yeah. And to what extent do you think studying in Paris as opposed to anywhere else is enhancing your studies? Well, the course is particularly related to Paris and modernity. Um, and so th in the text or in the films, places or people are referred to and we can actually go to these places or see where the people lived and the places yeah, that they talk about and describe in, in the films or texts. So what, what places have you been to visit so far with the university? Because there have been quite a few organised trips yes. and visits, haven't there? I think the first trip I went on, which I really enjoyed, was the trip to the arcades, to the, to the Passage and uh, the, in the 10th down, I think it is, near, and uh, visiting the Grand Boulevard, uh, Bonne Nouvelle in this area, and seeing how a uh, houseman had widened the streets in order, you know, to to make way for traffic, the new, new uh, mass transport and things like this. Tell us a little bit about the passage, because was, that was quite relevant to um, studying Zola as well, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It's, um, well, the pas it's, it's uh, when you're in there, you really feel like you're in Paris. Like it, it's, it's a real Parisian feel with the covered uh, with, the, with the glass ceilings and the shops inside the little old libraries and uh, all the, the art shops and it's um, yeah it's, it's fantastic I've actually I've, I enjoyed the university trip that was organised so much that I've every person that's come to visit me in Paris including uh, <laughs> mum or friends uh, I've taken them to see it too because it's, it's really impressive that's true um, what do you do when you're not studying I'm working as a sort of au pair, but not living with the family. So uh, I, I'm looking after two children, aged three and six, and uh, apart from that, helping the mum with general house chores and things like that. And she's been quite flexible in allowing you to come to seminars and... Yes, and absolutely. To do. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of agencies in Paris that will help you to find um, work that fits around your schedule which is very useful. And it's, it's quite well paid, and the family's very friendly, in my experience. All in all, then, would you recommend Kent at Paris MA to your friends? Absolutely, yes. I've really enjoyed it. It's gone too fast. That's the only problem, is that it's gone too fast. <laughs>